What is going on guys, it's 42 Sports here, and today I'm talking about another college football prediction video, and this time it's between the Wisconsin Badgers at the Iowa Hawkeyes at Kinnick Stadium, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, September, September 22nd, uh, 2018. Coverage will be on Fox Sports, which is Channel 50, if you have DirecTV, and I don't really know, I think it's the same thing with the uh, Dish Network as well. Iowa last year lost to Wisconsin 38 to 14. It was a really good game, but Wisconsin, this is a must win for Wisconsin and Iowa. Iowa usually is they are like they're the team in the Big 10. If you are trying to make it to the college football playoffs, Iowa is the college football playoffs team killer. So like uh, last year, Ohio State, they just dismantled Ohio State and they almost beat Penn State, but then Penn State lost to Ohio State, which they lost. Uh, so Iowa Hawkeyes are like the college football uh, playoff killers, and this time they could possibly beat Wisconsin because Wisconsin got upset by BYU last week, 24-21. It wasn't fun uh, for the Badgers because that was a crucial game for them because they jumped up from, I think, number four or number five uh, in the top 25 to number 18 in the college football uh playoffs or top uh, top 25 AP poll. I believe the committee is kind of biased towards the Big Ten, so they'll definitely put them in the, like, the top 20, because but they'll put the SEC, if Alabama loses, they'll, they'll probably put them up to like 10 or maybe 9. I mean, they're generous to the SEC teams, but they're not really generous to uh, the Big Ten teams. Um, So last year, or we're going to go through the top uh, the, the for the first three weeks of the season. We're just going to go through the season leaders and then the whole team stats. Uh, right now, the matchup predictor says that uh, Iowa, since it's at Iowa uh, in a late-night game, they also beat Ohio State with a late-night game. Um, the, Iowa has a 51.8% to um, Wisconsin, which is a 48.2%, which is not really that high or low. It's almost like the uh, same exact um, thing. All right, so the passing leaders. We have the same guys back from last year. We have Alex Hornbrook, I believe is how you pronounce his last name. Uh, he went 43 for 68 completions to attempts. Um, also, he had 595 passing yards, three touchdowns, and two interceptions. Why Nate Stanley has 50 completions to 79 uh, attempts, 583 um, passing yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Almost basically the same exact thing as Alex as well. Uh, for Wisconsin, as you guys know, Jonathan Taylor has been the best team, best player on the team already in three games. He has seven, 77 carries, 515 rushing yards, five touchdowns, and he could be the Heisman uh, Trophy winner this year if he keeps it up, and he could be a top five draft pick uh, this upcoming season. I believe he's a junior or a senior. Um, also for Iowa, we have uh, Torn Young. He's back also with the team. He is now the starter for the past three weeks, I believe. Uh, he had 43 carries with 234 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Uh, for receiving-wise, we have A.J. Taylor uh, had 12 receptions, 250 uh, receiving yards, and one touchdown. While we have for Iowa, Noah, Fran uh, Noah Fant, uh, 12 receptions, 140 uh, receiving yards, and two touchdowns. Now, for team stats, we have points per game. Wisconsin wins in this one with 33.3 three, uh, points per game. While Iowa has 28.0 uh, points allowed. This is huge for both teams because both teams have strong defenses uh, like Iowa. Iowa always has a great defense. It's always low scoring uh, games with them. Uh, if their offense really doesn't, uh, if their offense produces well, then yeah, it could go either way like last year against uh, Wisconsin. All right, points allowed. Wisconsin 13.7 and Iowa, this is huge. 8.0 in all three games so far, which is really incredible. Uh, total yards, though, Wisconsin wins again with 484.3 total yards on offense, while Iowa has 389.3. Uh, total yards of passing, we have Wisconsin uh, with 199.3 total yards of passing, while Iowa wins this one with 215.7. And as you guys know, for yards of rushing with Jonathan Taylor, 285.0 yards rushing to um, Iowa's 173 0.7. So, total yards on defense. We have Wisconsin with a 275.7 points, or yards, my bad, allowed. While Iowa's this one, 
Iowa is crucial for Iowa's uh, team. 209.0. Sorry for the background noise. The plane going by. Um, passing yards allowed, we have 145.0 to Wisconsin. And also, um, we have for Iowa 167.0. Uh, passing yards allowed, rushing yards allowed. This is also huge, huge for Iowa. They have only 42.0 yards of rushing allowed uh, for the past three games, and they they have to play on their A game against Jonathan Taylor. And um, Wisconsin has 130.7. So this most likely might be a low scoring game, uh, not from last year. Last year was a high scoring game for Wisconsin. And uh, Iowa this year looks really, really good, and I, I, it's gonna be so. It's both. I, I believe both scores gonna be really low. So, in my prediction, I have for both teams, Wisconsin is gonna win uh, 28 to 21, while Iowa is going to win 24 to 17. So it's gonna be a one-score touchdown game for both teams. So Wisconsin 28 to 21, while Iowa 24 to 17 against Wisconsin, and this is a must-win for. Uh, Wisconsin to keep their college hopes alive or playoffs hopes alive, but most likely they probably won't make it this year. Last year was their chance. They should have won against Ohio State. Had better chances to beat Ohio State, but they failed. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Will Wisconsin beat Iowa or will Iowa beat Wisconsin at Iowa? It's going to be a great game. It's going to be a classic game, a rivalry. Uh, Wisconsin probably leads in a rivalry, uh, but it's going to be a great game. I respect both schools. I like both schools. And I dislike Ohio State. So, guys, y'all have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. 42 Sports here, and peace.